Hey, Missy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, uh, we have so much to do today. It's only two days until Christmas. Two sleeps and then Christmas, but we've got like 40,000 loads of laundry and cleaning and wrapping to do before then. Um, Freaking out a little bit. Well, I want to pressure wash the backyard. Oh my gosh, yes. It's like a crime scene back there. Well, I also need to do the floor in the front room. I, I That may not get done. Um, I need to go to Costco to get a gift card for your brother because you can only buy Costco gift cards at Costco. Which is weird. Well, it's because you can't... Uh, you have to have the membership. You have to have a membership. You can buy them online, but it wouldn't be here for Christmas. And of course... Like, we just found out, like, that's what he really wants. I need to go to uh, a collision store, like an auto body place, to what get you a getting at the collision store for Caleb for painting his car. Because oh, yeah. Caleb is like you, uh -huh. and if I give him the cash he to won't paint get his it. car, he won't do it. He'll be like, yeah, I'm going to put this money away. And then, in addition to that, we need to film videos. We have our live stream tonight. And then tomorrow... Like, you're going to be at the church, like, all day. Yeah. So we have a lot to do today, but I really feel like we need to start our day off with some coffee. Oh, please. Okay, people keep asking us, how do we make our coffee? So I'm going to show you how we make our coffee when we're using the Vitamix. I take our entire pot of coffee, and I pour it into the Vitamix. One cup for Rachel. Now what I do is, Rachel hates this part, turn the Vitamix on low Aww. and go ahead and start it. It won't splash if you start it on low. To that, we're gonna add two eggs fresh out of the chicken butt. So these literally just came out of the hen house so they're warm still. Obviously, you can use any eggs. I just find this helps to not make the coffee you know, like cold, but if you only have one side of the refrigerator, use those. So we're gonna go ahead and drop both eggs in. And again, I'm doing this with the blender running. It doesn't cook the eggs. Look how much it changes the color though. I know, right? Because it adds creaminess. It's the weirdest thing. I'm telling you, you gotta try it. Now today, we're gonna make a keto chow coffee. Sometimes we do butter and eggs. Sometimes we do only butter. Sometimes we do only eggs. Today we're doing the eggs, which is kind of like the fat source for our, um, you know, our coffee. And then we're gonna use salted caramel. And we do the entire pouch. And again, this is for the entire cup of coffee. Now, Rachel. You mean pot of coffee. A pot of coffee. Ready? Now. We put our lid on. Thank you. Turn it up for a second. And we're done. Now, if you're not gonna do an entire pot of coffee, that's okay. You can still do, I would say one egg or a tablespoon of butter for a, a cup of coffee. But if you wanna add keto chow, I'd start depending on the size of the cup of coffee with between a teaspoon to a tablespoon, see how it comes out. Cause again, we're doing an entire scoop for an entire pot. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com, and that's where you can find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time Joe steals my new cup, you'll be alerted to it. You know how we know we're crazy? Yeah. We're vlogging two days before Christmas. I know. Well, that, I, make, that makes us crazy. Well, the crazier person is the person trying to take Rachel's cup. You know, we have a policy in this house. Okay. That whoever, whenever you get a gift, you don't have to share it the first day. This okay. is the first day. Th okay, that is true. However, there's 
some extenuating circumstances no. here. No! Yeah, first of all, we don't really know who the mug was to. It didn't say the mug is for Rachel. So I think that that, first of all... Because you're saying because you like Harry Potter also well, could have been for you. It was, a it was a gift. Also, I'm using this mug out of a sacrifice because that mug is bigger. I see what you're trying to do but here. But I will allow you... Thank you. I just you. want the first sip out of this cup. <laughs> okay, so... Mischief managed. <laughs> for real. <laughs> Breakfast. We have so much to do today. And honestly, I'm full from last night. Oh, yeah. Because yesterday was a busy day. We had another burger and, and chili And we day. had another burger. Well, we each ate two burgers and then chili on top of it. So I'm figuring between the two burgers and the chili, we probably each had almost two pounds of meat. And that was at like seven o'clock at night. So I'm super full. I don't need any breakfast, but this is, this is a breakfast, right? Yeah. Coffee, one egg, and keto chow split between the two of us. And this is pretty much the entire pot of coffee. And it's probably the only coffee we'll have through the day. We might have one during the live stream or something, but... Yeah, I do really enjoy it during the live stream, especially mm. as we get close, closer to Christmas. There's just something super homey about it. And it again, it's the experience. Right. Right. It's holding the warm mug yep. and it's drinking the hot beverage. Like it's, it's Look part of the joy. Look at that frothy top you get when you use the egg with the coffee. I it's know amazing. it sounds it weird. It does sound weird. People message us and say like, it really sounds weird, but it's really good. This may be weird and good. Let's see. Since I kind of spoiled the beans and gave you like foreshadowing what it would be during the last one. Oh my gosh. I got to tell you about what I ordered yesterday. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's my favorite thing. It's poopery. <laughs> Thank you. I you love, love poopery. poopery. And Although at, you, you, before we started doing Scentsy, yes. you used to use it as air We spray. used it at everything. The, you'd get into the RV and the entire RV smelled like, you know, poopery. But sometimes... It's really meant to spray into oh, the water. That smells good. It Ooh, smells that is really a good, good one. Yeah, that's, and that's, it's got a glitter box, so you know it's going to work. Wow. Okay, what do we got? Ooh! A new flavor of Ghost peanuts. pepper extreme almonds. Or almonds, rather. Yeah. <coughs> Ooh. These should be I will even, not be eating those right this second, but I will be eating these those. These should be hot. It says, warning, this snack kicks back. I believe that. Oh, I wanted to show you. So the other day, I went to Sam's Club. And thank you to all of our subscribers thank who you. told us about this. You made Joe's Christmas. So Sam's Club has this. And this is a great deal so long as you like all the flavors. It's a pretty box. So it comes with uh, cola. The creamy root beer, which I like both of the root beers, but the creamy root beer is amazing. They know what they've got. The ginger ale, the black cherry, which is surprisingly good. You it's even said like- It's it, very cherry. I really, it, they nailed black cherry. Yeah. Right? You know, I grew up drinking Shasta yes. and all of the no name brand, you know, where we, sodas. Where we identified it by like purple. Do you want purple or you want orange right. today? And my dad was the same way. My dad was like, we would go and buy like whatever the, the store brand, no name Shasta brand was. But the cheap stuff had a flavor well, punch. And because of that, we didn't just get cold. The one that you never wanted was cola because you were comparing it to Coke and, and Pepsi. And it was never the same. And it was nowhere near the same. So we bought the flavors. And he was always like all the flavors. So I grew up drinking black cherry, came with cream soda, and then it I came like, with grape. Ugh. Now I know Rachel doesn't you. like grape, but if you like grape, I have to say it really does have the flavor of like grape knee high. Like remember mash, grape knee high. Oh my and, goodness. And you know, what was the one that we grew up drinking? You know, I, I can't remember the name of it right now. But yeah, so this was a good deal. because Sam's it was, Club. It was sixteen fifty, I think, or something like that. But you're getting 30 cans of soda, so that's a little bit over 50 cents a can compared to if you go buy Zevia not on sale in the grocery it's store. Cute. Across the top it says, look at all those zeros. Oh, that it's is like cool. zero, zero, zero. Yeah, so if you go to the store and buy them, it's like six bucks for six cans. It's so good till February. This is a good, it won't last till February. So I have to tell you, so Anthony yesterday, he went to the store, they, there was no youth, uh, group this week right. at church. So 
Anthony and Caleb, both amazing leaders when yeah, it comes to the youth. And he was like, you know, they need mentoring all the time. So they organized like a get together at the park nice. with the youth. And just like where they're all going to just hang out and play stuff. So Anthony runs and gets like these new Nerf guns. I guess they've been around for a couple of years, but we've kind of been removed from we, Nerf. I, once your child turns 18, you like lose your standing in the Nerf community because before we used to buy tons of those things. All right. So he bought these ones that shoot balls. Balls. Not, not the darts, which... We used to buy, there were darts. We, we were finding darts three years later in our I'm house. I'm sure that there are parks in this area that's still finding our darts. I have to tell you, as I as I get off tangent on this, on this story, but I was going through stuff in Amazon, and Nerf stepped up the game. There's a vacuum cleaner for Nerf darts. No, there is yes. not. So remember the thing that you, good morning, Tabitha. Good morning. Remember the thing that the kids would push along and it would go pop, 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 yeah. pop with the balls in? It looks like that, only it picks up all of the Nerf darts. But without hurting them. Without hurting them. How like, nice. Because my vacuum cleaner also picks up Nerf, per <laughs> Nerf paraphernalia, but nothing like in a positive way. Right. It just destroys it. So he bought some of the kids these things. They shoot these little balls and it makes them fly. Like he, he hit me with one and it doesn't hurt. But it's not nice and soft like the dart oh thing. Oh my gosh. And so he's like, oh, they were on clearance at Target. And they were like $12 to $5. I'm Did like, you buy a bunch of those? Well, I bought two of them for our nephews. But then... Merry Christmas. I went on to Amazon. And the one that... He bought a bigger one for one of his friends that actually has a magazine that holds 12 of them. And that was on sale at Target from 30 to 20 And I'm like, ooh. Like, all three boys are going to be here on Christmas. So I go on to Amazon because I didn't feel like going to Target. And I'm like, I wonder if they're the same there. price or cheaper on Amazon. And on Amazon, they were 10 bucks. Wow. So I bought three of them for the boys to have a Nerf fight on Christmas. I probably should have bought four, but they only how allowed... About, the, a how little... about for Mama Bear? No, no, no. Wait until you see. It might even be at the front door right now. Mama and Dad got an automatic one that shoots a hundred <laughs> balls. Like there's, it's just like How one reload, one reload. The one that I got, it was on sale on Amazon from $120 to 50 bucks. Oh my gosh. And it, it holds a hundred balls. So while they're all reloading, you're going to annihilate the children. Mom and dad can go annihilate the children. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait for Christmas. We are so competitive. What is wrong with us? I'm 51 years old and I want to play with a Nerf gun. Look, it came. What came? It came. Oh my gosh, you are for real. I absolutely am for real. You absolutely are bringing the entire military to a Nerf fight. Now, oh one God. of the reasons it was much cheaper than buying it in Walmart, because in Walmart, this is 130 bucks, is they have what they call frustration-free packaging. Is it though? Well, what is this? Filler. So that it's just an easy unwrap. Oh, wow. That's pretty much all you want anyway. I'm gonna get one. They need to have frustration-free Barbie dolls. Have you ever tried to open one of those? Oh, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. I am so ready this is, for the kids. This is not an appropriate, appro this is not appropriate. And what, how big are theirs, like this? Oh my God. And it, it holds 12, but this one holds 100 of these balls. Oh, they're like spongy, but you're gonna feel it. It does, oh, it, it's even got a safety. Are you going to put the safety on? Oh no, absolutely not. Now I do have to find batteries because it doesn't come with batteries. Okay, so here is a question for everybody. All right. Now, I know that this is Christmas, a couple days before Christmas, and you're probably going to see this vlog after Christmas, do or you, maybe on Christmas. Do you think this toy is okay for Joe to use on his shoulder? No. Yes, I think absolutely. that's the answer. We don't have to even pull it. No. So here's my question. My question is, if you like give a present that requires batteries, like this thing, do you... Also supply the batteries to whoever you're giving, or do you just give them the present and say like, on your own with the batteries? Okay, this is a public service announcement from okay. older parents, right? Okay. If you do not supply the batteries, all you're really gifting is a temper tantrum. That's it. Okay. That's all you're gifting because 
we're out. By the time that like it's Christmas rolls around, the parents have already allotted all of the batteries for all of the toys that require batteries that mm -hmm. they have purchased and are aware of. Yes. So if you drop off a, a, a cool present like this, and this is gonna like far exceed what mom and dad have got because mom and dad are afraid of this in their house and they know that the boys are gonna get into a fight with it. So this is only an aunt, uncle. This is an outsider gift, absolutely. Right. right. So yeah, if you don't supply the batteries, the kid is going to freak out. Well, I have a public service announcement for new parents. Okay. When don't you get do, this? No, when you do get a present that has batteries uh -huh. and it makes noise, when the batteries die, you just turn to your child and go, I guess it's broken. I guess that was the the life of that toy. How many times did we it. do that with things that go beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, right? When people were shopping in the Christmas store at church, one of the presents was a drum set. It was a drum we set. We never gifted a drum set. It was and a drum nobody set. Nobody ever gave our children so a drum set. So as just for me, I probably was the only elf in the store that was doing this, but but I was like would go past that and I'd tell the parents, if you want that drum set, the fact that I'm pushing you away from that drum set, that's for you. If you really want it, we'll get it. But I'm telling you, I love you and I've been there. I don't think you want like 365 days of drum set. Do you want to see this thing in action? I'm kind of afraid to see this thing in action. No, I may use the back side of you as a target. But here, <laughs> let me show you in the hallway. Okay. So it, I actually do like it. It's got like a safety trigger. So you got to hold this and then this. So those, ready? It's gearing up. Wow. I'm a giant kid. Oh my gosh. Oh. Poor Naomi. She's molting. She's molting. Oh. It's so, I first saw this when one of the other chickens was going through it and oh. I'm like, what's going on with our chickens? But they're molting. But as a big fluffy chicken, she looks so pitiful. But all the new ones are coming. You can feel all the pin feathers and stuff. But of course this is happening on one of our coldest days. It's like 55 degrees outside. I know, I'm so sorry. She is definitely not gonna be in her oh. Christmas best. <laughs> So Costco was a mad house. Thankfully, they have their gift card purchasing area in another area of the store, so we didn't have to wait in the main line. Yeah, the guy said, just go to the supervisor's desk. Rachel wanted to get that something man. for Christmas dinner, and I looked at her and I'm like, it. go to Publix and pay full price. I am not waiting on a line that stays all the way to the back of the store. Yeah. Now, I did decide, because you can't go to Costco without getting a Costco hot dog. Without burping the rest of the day. This is the gift that keeps on giving. The whole day through. They taste delicious, but the spices in here, I'll be tasting them at dinner time. <laughs> what are you doing? I, when I say I wrap everything, I wrap even someone said they want a Diet Coke, they're getting it wrapped. That's how bad it is. We have a premiere to do. Yes, we do. Can you turn around for a minute? Let me see your backside. I turned them inside out. Oh, I was going to put it on the video. I, no, I had to hurry up and change it because I put my leggings on inside out and went out in them. <sighs> Lunch slash dinner time. What is like a fatigue? Is there like a special fatigue for Christmas wrapping? I, don't I feel know. like I'm, I'm, I've hit that You're wall. Right. Well, maybe if we didn't wrap like every single piece of food we're giving the kids. No, that can't be it. Like you buy a pack of sugar-free gum and you're wrapping it. Every single year I say to myself, I'm going to start wrapping earlier in the season so I don't have to like wear myself out. I mean, usually it's the last two days before Christmas and I'm just doing nothing but wrapping. I blame video games for this. Yeah. Because when the kids were little, they would get like, 40 presents to open. Now, it wasn't a lot of money because we would like go to the dollar, dollar store or we would buy them like Anthony loved matchbox cars or Hot Wheels, whatever you call them. We'd buy like the pack of 20 where you get like 20 cars for like $15 and Rachel would open up the package and individually wrap each car so we had more presents to open. But then they got older and they got into video games and it was like now their budget like 
gave them three presents. So right. Rachel's like, well, how do I give them more presents to open? Oh, I know. I'll wrap everything that's supposed to be in a stocking, right? right? Something comes with five things. I'm going to break it open and now they have five presents. Yeah. I can get a little bit carried away, but it's fine. Well, you know, as the kids get older, we still want them to be around. We want them to have a good time, especially because... You know, how many years are you going to have them where they're just always around? 100. It's, it's going to get to the point where we only see them a few times as they <gasps> get families and things like that. You better get to our food. Okay, here's what we're having. So we got those burgers that I got at Costco the other day because they're so good. And I told you, they were that was going to get us through the week because there's so much going on. Mm -hmm. So we each have two burgers, a little bit of the keto chow chili, and then a couple of eggs, compliments of the girls in the backyard. Thanks, ladies. So we're going to finish eating. I just saw a mouse climb out of the bottom of Grayson's cage. What? Because you know what happens is, is whenever it gets a little chilly down mm -hmm. here, the mice come out to play. Mm -hmm. So now I gotta go find like a humane mouse trap right. to get him or her off of the patio. And we have our live stream tonight. So still lots to do. But I also just got informed that I and playing Santa Claus at the church event on Christmas Eve. There will only be like 1,200 people nice. that you'll have to um, have have to have to let sit in your lap. It's fine. Okay, It'll be Mrs. Fine. Claus. You, I if know. I have to do this, you have to be Mrs. Claus. I will be right by your side, sir. Charity is on the hunt for the mouse. Get him, Charity. Get it. She's got it. Go get it. Be awesome to catch this on camera. It is Christmas Eve morning and Rachel is cooking in the kitchen. Look away. It is not keto, but it is some of the kids' favorite desserts. You know, it must be Rachel cooking in the kitchen because Tabitha is right here at my feet in case there's an emergency. <laughs> A Labrador emergency. So, like I said, this is not keto, but it's one of the kids' favorite desserts. And it's Christmas, and it's okay if they eat some sweets on Christmas. Good morning, Santa. <laughs> I get to wake up next to Santa. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Christmas Eve. It's here. One more sleep till Santa. It is early. It's about 6.15 in the morning. We got up. Actually, I got up because um, Tabitha had to go to the bathroom. And, it's really uh, all about her. And oh my gosh, she's... <laughs> Good morning, Tabitha. Speaking of Speaking Tabitha. Of which, Tabitha slept in the bed with us most of the night. And uh, she takes up a lot of room. Yeah. Whose brilliant idea was it for her to sleep in the bed with us sometimes? Well, it was a cold night and she was giving me the lab eyes. She, oh my gosh. She stretched out. She had like her feet at one corner, her head at the other. She took her hat Separating us out further of her middle. and further. I mean, yeah. I was like, how about we put her on the edge and you and I cuddle. Tabitha was like, no. She sits where she wants. I have to be in between us. And then she takes all the covers. She sleeps on top of the covers. But it's like move. It's moving 110 pounds of dead weight. Like it's there is easy. no negotiating anything that she's sitting on. There's no moving her. And then you're like... Hey, you need to get up. And she just looks at you like, yeah, make Look me. Look at that face, though. Good How morning, you my baby. It? You're such a good girl. You do You're work. a giant horse. Yes, you are. We slept with a horse last night, apparently. <laughs> so it is Christmas Eve. We have Lots a to lot do. to do. I need to run to Home Depot to get mouse traps because both of my cats have decided they are no longer mousers. And there are mice running over the whole backyard. Yeah. I keep seeing them. They're by the chicken coop. They're by the shed. I saw one scurry across the back patio. Did you say scurry? Scurry. Okay. There was one in the bottom of Grayson's cage. So I need to go get some it's mouse time. traps to like get rid of them. What I really need is a barn cat. Well, our cats used to patrol the area. But and we now... never had mice. Ever. But now it's like they're, they're like, no, I'm retired. Yeah. I mean... Charity last night was sitting there like staring because there was obviously Watching one it. under the outside refrigerator. But yeah, 
No dead mouse not being gonna dropped do on Rachel's it. head. I mean, I don't Nothing miss that. at the door when we opened up the door. She just, when she does find it, she plays with it. She traps it with her paw and then lets it go and then chases it. And then, I mean, it's... I think it's, they're just trading charm bracelets out there. I don't know. So I need to run to Home Depot. Rachel is busy in the kitchen. So proud of her There's, making some kids desserts. Here's the thing. Nothing I'm making is baking because we saw the, the, the cookie recipe. But what I can make is like pudding type recipes, like pudding desserts. Well, you're making a couple for the kids, but we're also going to make one that we can enjoy. We're going to use about. our coconut flour pie crust, and then we're going to make a pudding with the Maria Emmerich egg pudding, and then we're going to add some peanut butter into it so we can enjoy some chocolate peanut butter pie as well. I love it. I think we're going to use chocolate peanut butter keto chow for that one because that'll like up the peanut really butter flavor, the flavor without having to add a whole bunch of actual peanut butter, which brings carbs and more fat and, you know, so I'm looking forward to that. Is the brisket ready, sir? I have not even started the brisket, so I need to pull the brisket out. I need to trim it and season it. And then uh, the, at three o'clock, we're playing Santa and Mrs. Claus. So I guess we have to leave here about 2.30 for that. You got to be there at like... 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock, yeah. Yeah, so I figure I'd leave here at 2.30. Then I'll come home. I'm going to use the Chris Bear method because it came out so good yeah, last time. And as soon as I get home, we're going to put the smoker to the lowest setting, which is about 170 degrees. We're going to cook it all night. And then I'll get up in the morning... And we will get that thing going somewhere around 225 degrees. And I'm figuring it will be done around 2 o'clock. And the, everybody's coming over around 2 o'clock, so we'll open presents. That'll give the brisket about an hour and a half to rest. And then in the morning, I will make the lasagna. Because I figure if I make it in the morning, then I'll have enough time to sit. Because lasagna is always better if, it sits. if you let it sit for yeah. a little while. But I'm excited. The Me whole too. family gets together. Now, uh, we are going to vlog a little bit tomorrow. It's going to be a short vlog, but we do want to show you what we eat and uh, also some of the presents that Rachel may be getting. And, and, and definitely, you're going to want to see me annihilate the boys in a Nerf contest. Maybe mommy can jump in on that one as well. Oh, she'll she'll beat you all. You, oh, you're gonna beat us all. Oh, is yeah. that a oh, challenge? Oh, I thought you said my. I thought you meant my mom. No, I mean you. Because nanny will. Oh, yeah. Grandma. I, I, nanny definitely only gets the single shot because she'll just unload a hundred of the yes. automatic weapon she wins. right into my butt. Yeah, I she'll, know that. You'll she'll win. be like, oh, you know all those times. I, I'm gonna get you now. <laughs> Somebody's alarm that was telling us that we need to get up. We're already up. Was just telling us get up, even though we've been up. No, for seriously, an it's hour. time to get up. Yeah. So overall, it's been a great week. It's been a hectic week, but we've pretty much gotten everything accomplished. Yay! And I'm just excited for the holiday. I'm excited that we get to spend some time with our family. Family is so precious to us, not just our immediate family here, but all of you guys as well. And we're glad you guys were all able to spend the last 15 days with us through the yeah. 12 days of keto and, and a couple of vlogs and our trip to Universal Studios. Now, before we do go, I wanted to let you know, here's how we are starting our day. Small little meal. We got coffee. Uh, each of us have a tablespoon of butter and we have a scoop of vanilla keto chow yeah. in here. Just to add creaminess. So we are going to get this day started for ourselves and uh, we'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Now let us know what are you guys doing for the holidays. Yeah. And if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time it's Christmas, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.